and I work as a project leader at Wikimedia Sverige. So I'm based in Stockholm, Sweden. And I work mainly with education and learning, uh, but also capacity building um, in other ways, as well as communication and uh, also community uh, support and our organization, organizational development. Uh, so a lot of these issues uh, or topics um, are included in what we call the grand tour of Wikimedia, of which I will um, talk today. So the first thing I would like to uh, address is that Wikimedia Sverige is um, aiming at creating a content partnerships hub, uh, which is uh, a thematic hub um, that will hopefully uh, establish a way of supporting the Wikimedia movement with, uh, within um, content partnerships. Um, and we currently work, uh, we have uh, identified five different areas or six maybe um, in how we will establish this hub and uh, where work is being carried out. And the grand tour that I will be talking about today is in the area of capacity building, strengthening the movement around different aspects. One being how do we achieve good and lasting partnerships with partners that have their own um, that have their own content that can be brought onto our platforms. So this is um, yeah the the grand tour is is coming from this uh, hub work. So then what is the grand tour of Wikimedia? Well, it is, as I said, capacity building for the Wikimedia movement, as well as for the individual. Because our idea is that small groups of travelers about maybe three to five people in a small group travel to several, maybe two to four affiliates um, that can be chapters or user groups or a group of volunteers uh, connected to the Wikimedia movement to gain and share knowledge. So that's where the uh, capacity exchange is going on. Our plan is that each grantor follows a theme and that could be glam that could be education or volunteer involvement or organizational development um, open source open data maybe open street map uh, well it follows a theme um, as i said uh, oh have we have a question here and i will uh, answer them as we go by uh, a basic question is this real physical travel or virtual travel and our plan is that it will be an actual physical travel. And we started this planning a couple of years ago. And well, as you know, we haven't been able to um, start the tours yet because of the global uh, situation with the pandemic. Uh, but our hope is that next year we will have the first tour uh, up and running. And um, um, yeah, the idea might even go back to 2014. You were you were uh, here then, I wasn't. Um, and um, uh, well, yeah, it, it's supposed to be a, a an actual physical tour. Oh, I'm glad to see that, uh, Abin, you would like to be a part of the tour. I'm very glad to hear that. Our idea is that each participant have their own goals as well within that theme. So it's uh, you you make maybe a, an individual plan what you would like to uh, achieve, as well as what you're presented with, of course. Uh, and our idea is that the receiving parties plan the stay. They uh, create a, an interesting program. They uh, book the accommodation, etc. They um, also decide on the level of what they would um, like either help with, like solving a problem, for example, 
versus showing examples of their work, which might be more uh, giving something to the participants. Uh, so we see it as an opportunity also uh, for a user group or a chapter, uh, an affiliate to gain help with something. Maybe they would like to establish something and have a, a kickoff uh, and then a group of people coming from the movement can help them in, in doing so. So it's not only going to study visits, for example, that could also be a part uh, of the program, of course, but it's up to um, the receiving end. Our thought is that this is both staff and volunteers, and this is some. This is a, an issue where we would like you to uh, to give us your opinions if the the tours should be joint, and uh, that both staff and volunteers are part of the same groups because it's the same theme uh, that they are working with, or if it's easier to organize it in a way that volunteers go with other volunteers and staff go with staff. So that's something that uh, we will have to find out together what's working uh, and what might not be working in that context. Um, I, um, oh, I think I, I hear someone, has someone put on their microphone and would like to say something? Or maybe it was just uh, an echo. Yeah, so this is the basic, uh, the basic tour as we see it. Um, and, oh, sorry. Um, we also have some core values that we see from the, from the tour, which are sustainability, of course. And then we mean all aspects of sustainability. We want this to be as environmentally sustainable as possible. We want it to be as economically sustainable as possible and as socially sustainable as possible. And what we mean by that it is, for example, environmental sustain sustainability. Um, maybe the tours will have more of a regional, um, a regional perspective maybe because of shorter travels, for example, if that's possible. Also going by, um, by for example, train rather than flying, if that's possible, um, but also thinking about what kind of environmental impact uh, we, we do to the world. Um, that's something that we will have to consider when planning the different tours. Economic sustainability. We would like this to be something that several people can actually take part in. And we are thinking about a model right now where, um, at least to begin with, Wikimedia Sverige are the ones that are coordinating at least the first tour and maybe the first tours, uh, trying to create a, a model. And, um, um, and then our idea is that it is the receiving organization or, or party that um, pay for uh, the, the stay when people uh, come to those countries, um, they, the receiving party are the ones that, that pay for that and also sending them on to the next stop on the journey uh, so that uh, the cost won't be on the individual, um, but rather on the receiver. Of course, there will come costs uh, around that as well, and we will try to find external fin uh, finances for uh, the participants, maybe if they need to um, take some time off work if there's volunteers, uh, or putting aside time for this, uh, or whatever. So we will try to find uh, economic uh, solutions for that. Uh, but also social sustainability. We will be we we want people to uh, get energy from traveling rather than uh, that it costs them too much. So we will uh, try to find uh, good ways so that people feel well. Uh, 
equity is another uh, is another core value, and what we mean by that is um, often that we have prejudice on who can teach uh, someone else something. That it might be the larger chapters, for example, that can teach the smaller ones to do something. Uh, but here, or that it uh, that it is the receivers that will teach the travelers something. But here we think that the travelers travelers will um, bear a lot of knowledge uh, and even require acquire even more as they uh, take the tour, and they can share that to other parts of the movement, as well as. Maybe it's good for someone from a large chapter to go to a smaller one to discover their um, their daily work and, and their circumstances. So that's something where we will try to achieve as well. Uh, of course, openness and transparency. We will try to, uh, for example, uh, document all the, uh, the journeys as, as good as possible, as well as uh, maybe showing program uh, and sharing um, sharing material, etc., uh, and using our platforms for that. But we also put in the point of personal development because we want people to see this as an opportunity within the Wikimedia movement. This is something that you might not be able to achieve in other parts of society. Uh, so that's why we want to uh, try to give that to as many people as possible. Uh, and that they will also grow as, as persons from that. Uh, I see some of your comments and I, I like that you like the idea and the focus uh, and that is a great idea uh, and we do hope so too. Now, um, we, I thought we would, I would like to invite you to to participate as well. And as I don't know who are participating, I look forward to, uh, to hearing your thoughts. And I have prepared a few questions. Uh, and here you can take the perspective that you have or that you would like to have. So I've divided uh, this into two topics to travel or to receive. And if you take the perspective of traveling, then what would you like to experience as a traveler? What goals would you like to reach through such a, a grand tour, such a tour? And what would you require in order to being able to participate? Is it time? Is it money? Is it knowledge? Is it a mentor? Is it support of any kind? Well, what would you like to, what would you require? That's what I mean by that question. And if you are a part of a user group or a chapter or any other um, group um, that could imagine uh, imagining receiving people, then what would you like to uh, give to or receive from the travelers? What ideas do you have there? Uh, and what support would you need in order to um, to receive a participant. So I thought we would split up into, um, into breakout rooms. And now that we are uh, almost 50 people, maybe we should do several um, groups if that's possible, uh, maybe three or, uh, or so. And no. Um, Let's see, I was going to send a link to the etherpad. Yeah, maybe that was it. So Lisa had posted it um, already. Uh, what would be the average time a grand tour takes? I would say maybe three, four weeks. depending on how we do the planning and if it's possible for people. Are people seeing the break room invites now? I see them. Yes, or I see them, but I'm staying here right now. 
Some will stay, some will go. Perfect. Great. I stop sharing for now and I think I will post the, uh, or maybe you could do that, Lisa. If I post them in the chat, maybe you could post them to the breakout rooms. I think that's a possibility, right? I think I can broadcast to all of them, yes. Ah, yeah. So now they are in the chat. And I look forward to also reading answers in the etherpad. So please join the breakout rooms to discuss. And Josephine, I think you're in room three. Oh, thanks. And I, I will be joining room three. Просто за раз.
I'm happy to see there are a lot of you uh, people participating. Um, we are in breakout rooms or have been in breakout rooms uh, answering these different questions and replying to them in this etherpad. And I would very much like to encourage you to, um, to give your answers to those questions as well. That would be very nice to, to think about um, and, and incorporate into the planning. And I see that there are some people uh, writing currently. And soon we will uh, ask everyone to come back to the um, main space. Does anyone have a question for me? Then please um, ask them in the chat and I will try to uh, answer them. It seems we have an issue uh, that people cannot click or copy the link. That's very unfortunate. Um, and it says the link has an error. It, you can maybe find it through uh, through this uh, Wikimania page, the, the program. Um, or the session page uh, on top, just underneath the green box, it says sessions note, note uh, etherpad. Maybe you can uh, click through that. Can you click other links? Um, 
Lisa, can I ask you to close the, um, the breakout rooms? Yep, they should all be closed and everybody should be in the middle. So everyone is back here now. Oh, great. Um, then um, I'm looking at the Etherpad, even though I see that there are some issues, I can still see that there has come a lot of interesting ideas uh, and that people, for example, would like to experience hearing about uh, projects um, that, um, let's see, uh, about projects that uh, did or did not work and why. Also, they would like to participate in a wiki event and they would like to network uh, and expand the network uh, and uh, visiting others to see how they do, maybe larger affiliates and also experience different cultures while learning from them and knowledge sharing uh, and discuss the issues that arise and see if there are joint solutions. So that's something, that's a variety of things and it's very interesting to see uh, the differences. Uh, we also see that people would like to learn technical skills for tool use, for example, uh, and also um, learn the different skills of creating open source knowledge, which is at the foundation of what we do, actually. Um, also find out what strategies they are adopting in solving the challenges the Wikimedia movement is facing. Uh, and learn more about community building and acquire more skills and knowledge. Uh, and what people would require in order to being able to participate is, for example, a babysitter, uh, travel support and grant or funding. Um, and a babysitter isn't a bad idea, actually. Um, how do we, as a movement, also provide solutions for, for parents to participate? Um, and as receivers, we see that um, there are several aspects here as well that they would like to share. Um, hospitality, for example, um, and show a basic idea of how, how a small Wikimedia chapter is run or receiving that, uh, that kind of information. And also partnerships between different chapters and user groups uh, and showing local partner or local partners also taking part, which is interesting. Uh, and this Etherpad will be open uh, even after the session. So please uh, continue writing things. And then I would like to thank all of you for participating here today. The time has run out. And uh, well, thank you so, so much for uh, being with us today.